In this DIY, I will be restoring some Christmas yard art. These pieces have been well loved and well worn, as you can see. I'm going to give them a fresh coat of white chalk paint. I'll use some Mod Podge to seal them from the elements. And then I'm going to finish with some white glitter for a special Christmas feel. As with any DIY project, there's a supply list. There are not many for this particular project, but we will start with a clean surface. So I have paper towels and a Windex light cleaner. And then I have my paint, which is chalk paint. It's a large bottle, it was $16 from Michaels, but I got it on sale. Then I have a large bottle of Mod Podge, which I will use as a sealant, and it was $10 at Michaels, also on sale. Finally, I have the white glitter. It's a bright white glitter. It was $9.99 at Michaels, on sale as well. And then I will be using some foam brushes. They were $3.19. And finally, a special Mod Podge brush for smooth strokes, and it was $5. Of course, I have my yard art that I will be uh, doing one piece at a time, but that's it for the supply list. I'm going to be cleaning now using a Windex light cleaner the surface of each one of the pieces of yard art, just using paper towels to wipe them down. Each craft project should begin with a clean surface so that paint or glitter or glue or any other elements that are applied will adhere properly. We're going to start with applying the chalk paint. I've uh, put the paint in a small tin pan and I've just covered it with some foil so that I can take the foil out, throw it away, and reuse it for something different. This will take two coats. This is pretty thick, but the pieces have a lot of color underneath, so we'll apply two coats. I'm going to use one of my foam brushes and just start painting. It's noteworthy that this chalk paint, although it typically dries quickly if you're painting on wood or something that has a porous surface, these pieces are plastic and this will take a little bit longer to dry. So I'm going to be using a hair dryer to help speed up that process. And I really am not concerned about the brush strokes because we will be applying Mod Podge and then we want a rough surface so that the glitter will stick. Step two is to apply Mod Podge to the yard art. Mod Podge is both a protective sealant and a glue. I'm using the special Mod Podge brush because it applies the Mod Podge in very smooth strokes. As soon as I'm done with this, then I'm going to be applying the glitter. Mod Podge is very thick, so I had to water it down and the glitter will adhere better with a thin coat of Mod Podge. The glitter dispenser has two sides. One is like a salt shaker, which is what I will be using here. So I will have to make several passes with the glitter dispenser to completely cover the yard art. The other side is, um, oh, you can put a spoon in it or a measuring spoon so that you can apply the glitter in larger amounts. And here are the finished products, completely restored. I think they look great. I can't wait to put them in the yard.